just about to start, and we've got 32 viewers in the channel. Although, judging from the Twitch chat and the uh, craziness of it all, feels more like I'm watching League of Legends. Um, Right, and we're off. Teams respawning, looking for a better spawn. Let's see how they fight for these power-ups. Usually the um, your blue team's gonna have a better shot at bottom and red to top, but let's see how it goes. We've got a rolling bomb explosion out here with only one tag pro to be found in the whole map. Cap Kisadors pick it up. But the Ghost Boosters come in with a couple rolling bombs. Exile, he's free with a rolling bomb, but he gets sniped very nicely by Grant. Leg with a nice grab. Oh, but Team Boost sniped by Exile. What a snipe. And we got 2v1 in the base. Micro with the first cap of the game. I don't know what just happened there, folks, but... There was something. Exile setting up for re-grab. Sir Dan coming around. He's got three in base to deal with. Sir Dan pulls back out. Power-up's coming in about 10 seconds. Let's see how Sir Dan plays it. He's got a 1v2. 1v3. Let's see if Exile can collect their in-base power-up. Yep, he knows it's going to be there. He's waiting for it. But it was late. Grant picked up that tag pro late. Exile gets it, and he's away. Oh, but just misses the boost. All right, and we've got a reset with the ghost boosters with two tag pros. Let's see what they can do with it. Micro picking up a fresh one. Going to bring it back on D. See how many in base he can kill. But wisely scattering. Like uh, perhaps an insect or just a smart tag pro ball. Micro, gonna get that tag pro and not get any kills out of it, but that's how it goes these days. In the pubs, oh, a tag pro would usually be good for about maybe five kills. That's what makes these games different. Just Nads with a nice counter snipe. Keeping the flag in base. Exile setting up that team boost that he's known to be pretty effective with. Power-up's coming back. Sir Dan gets it, but Legman uh, able to kill him. Exile going back into base. See if he can get out here. Yes, he does. He is past four. Oh, and Grant wisely sets off those bombs. That would have been a cap right there. Smart play by Grant. Both the teams have showed no real problem with... Uh, uh, keeping the flag in base. Been kind of defensive and not very chasey so far. Oh, we've got a 4v1. Oh, and D-Wiz ties the game, walking it across the whole center of the map. Just Nad's still in the base, though. Exile's free. He's 1v1 in base. See what, what he goes to. Oh, and he unfortunately catches that boost a little hot. Micro with a nice out. Looking for base, but Eagles is able to cut him off. Looks like they had him beat on the button, too. Wide, almost a wide open base, and looks like Grant's going to get a tag pro. That's going to put a crimp in the, uh, the offense. Exile with an out. He's able to juke Eagles even with the tag pro coming into base. Or goes the bomb. But he sets up Sir Dan with the out. Exile gonna go set up the re-grab. Gonna keep a chain going on him. He's got four in front of him though. Micro takes away in base power up. See what Exile's gonna do with it. M narrowly avoids Grant. 
Oh, what a great use of the bomb by Exile. Bomb into base. Smart play by him. You could see him kind of sitting there hovering, waiting for the guy to get taken out before he made his move. Good discipline. And a nice grab to follow. Sets up Sir Dan very nicely. He's past two. Sir Dan just outside. And he gets shut down, but he sets up Exile with enough time to pick up the flag with the rolling bomb. Micro and Just Naz doing a superb job on defense. I don't think they let the other team get a grab. Oh, and now they force him out. He might not even need the rolling bomb. Exile with a grab right after his last one, and he's able to get through. Makes a nice boost into base. Oh, and D-Wiz is just there. Dan's away again. Exile. They just keep running this chain. It's like a machine that doesn't stop. Regrab after regrab. Micro and Just Nads keeping the flag in base. That's 2v2. Looks like Eagles is going to try to stop this train that keeps running. Yep, and he's able to chase Exile out of base. Now D Wiz has it. He's by three. He's got a tag pro on his base. He needs to get over there quickly. Oh, and Exile with a great block. Sorry, great return, rather. Legman's free with it. Now it looks like we might switch it up the other way. Bacon top, coming back to middle. Great buttoning by D-Wiz. Grant's one-on-one -on -one with Sir Dan. Dan's able to chase him down on the team tiles. Exile staying in base, filling in for some D. Legs got a rolling bomb. Let's see what he's able to do with it. D was has got a rolling bomb. A nice combo. Cap keeps the doors. D Wiz gets the nice kill. Legman staying alive while just Nads has it. Just Nads really wants a kiss. Uh, desperate, uh, desperate girl at a club at about 1:45 a.m. In New Year's Eagles with a nice return. Exile. Solid grab and micro gives him an opening. Now this is the chasiness that we were accustomed to. Both teams have the flag, and it's hard to return it. Just Nads is able to, though. Micro coming into base, but Grant is just going to be in front of him. It's a shame there weren't any boosts for Micro right there. But his teammate used all three of them to get the uh, return just prior. D-Wiz with Juke Juice. Leg Man. The nice kill. He's going to be by three with a nice boost. Oh, he bumps a corner, though. Can he save it? Ah, oh, but they're able to recover in time. Legman sitting there with the re-grab. Four in base. Now only three. Their exiles snipe. It's been a possession game. It's got a lot of hold time so far. All right, and now the Cap Keystador is showing their uh, very talented defense. Right as I say that, Sir Dan gets out. Shut down, but Micro gets a pickup. Micro, primarily a defensive player. I think he's 16th overall in gasp. In defensive gasp. Now finds himself filling in for D. He always gets the grab. Bombs go right into Just Nads. And a snipe we can see from just Nads, and he just misses. Set off a bomb by Micro, but Leg had already got past the point of no return. D Wiz, nice block. Legman's gonna have a hard time getting into that base, though. Oh, and it's a good thing D Wiz is there for the grab. Now that's a great time to kiss, especially when you got two of your own teammates in base. You can go over there. D Wiz might get. Two returns in a short period. 
Your dad is free. Let's see what they're gonna do about that tag growing base. Eagles has to hold that bomb, or has to hold the button, and it's a good thing he did. It gives Micro a tag pro and a 20 second advantage. Yep. Oh, and XL is gonna get in for the score. Let me tell you, as an offensive player, it's very nice coming into a base where your defense has the tag pro. Just Nads with a nice return snipe. Alright, looks like that first half is over. 4 1. Toby, you still with me? Alright, cool. Alright, my uh. had a service outage just about five seconds before that game ended. Right. 4-1, well played. Exile with a few uh, with a few caps. Micro scoring the first one. I think there we really saw the uh, uh, the defensive prowess. What are your thoughts in the Twitch chat? Nads and Micro shutting it down. Liquid Eagle, thanks for the compliments. Can't always respond to every Twitch message, but trust me, we see them all. 46 viewers here today. But a pretty great showing for Exile. He, uh, he found himself uh, with the flag quite a bit, putting, playing really effective. Defense of that team, holding up solid. Cap Keystadors, too, fighting hard at every turn. Felt uh, just a couple of the caps for the Ghost Boosters were walk ins, the rest of them were pretty well contested. Yes, this is this is Trowball here for you, Josh six one six one six. Yeah, we really should get in the Koba in here, but unfortunately, only one can do it at a time. No, oh, we've got Goomba of Death. Is that you, fools? Yeah, let's have him come in kind of during this halftime. See what his thoughts in the game are. See who's playing. Yeah, yeah. Put him in right now so we can uh, get this at this quarter break. Are they just about to start? Okay, yep. We're just coming off. I wanted to find out which team was being more strategic. Absolutely. It's a lot of strategy going on there. And everybody knows, everybody knows about the strategy. Alvin Strat's Here strategy. Go. Here we go. One tag pro to be found and it's on the bottom. Grant. Ooh, they both die, but Grant picks it up. Exile isn't able to hustle him off of it. Eagles grabs a rolling bomb and he's back on D. Better you have it than the than your opponents. Jordan gets a grab. Exile boosts into him though, and that's not a good idea. Tries to pick up the grab, but can't quite pull it off. I was wondering why that flag didn't come out of base, and then I look back, and of course I see Tag Pro for just Nads. Ghost Booster's really holding it down. Ooh, Legman's able to get away, though. He's an impressive juker. Every time I've seen him, I've always been seeing some quality jukes. Legman comes into base, but Exile's gonna be able to meet him in front there. That, that button position's so effective. D-Wiz is down low, Exile's free in base. D-Wiz knows he doesn't want to die right now. But Legman finally gets into position. Let's see how Just Nads plays this. 
Oh, he misses his boost, but he's able to shut the door anyways. Good stall, though. Very gr great stall. Eagles picks it up and kisses. Legman gets it. Grant's got a juke juice. Micro's got rolling. Sir Dan's free top, and he's probably going to pick up a juke juice for himself, too. He might get closed down. He's got two players to beat, and Eagles snipes him. Exile sees the tag pro, goes for it. Gives the grab to Micro with a rolling bomb. Misses his snipe, unfortunately, for Exile, but he's going to come right back into the fray. Oh, and Legman, is he... Oh, just Snads gets ahead of him. Good thing Exile's back. Oh, what a snipe by Exile. I think you call that one a button snipe. He's going top. Exile puts himself in a place to snipe him in base, but D-Wiz wisely gets out. Right. And my computer finally stopped backing up itself, so my frame rate is stabilized even better. Exile, filling in for defense. Oh, just Naz drives himself into a bomb. At least I think he did. Did somebody hit that button? He was dead headed. Okay, okay. It looked like he, he got close trying to ju juke into it. Exile's free. He's got Eagles beats. But now he's got three out of him. He's free bot with just Nads throwing in some blocks and Oh, but he sees a tag throwing base. Oh my goodness! Wow. That was pro by Exile. He boosts right past a tag pro that was right in front of him, just clipping the edge of the flag. That's gonna be the cap of the half so far. Best cap I've seen so far today. Micro with some nice blocks, but the other team's able to just force in numbers and push him off of it. They're Dan, just Nads. Sorry, I keep saying names. I need to start saying what people are actually doing. And Sir Dan runs around and is able to make the cap. Let's see if we can get a reset. Haven't seen one of those lately. Scarce commodity. Sir Dan with Juke Juice in the middle. D Wiz makes him pay for it. Love those team boosts. I wish they were on every map. All right, each team's got a tag pro. Let's see what what they can make of it. Exile using it to good effect. Sir Dan is free top. B Wiz is free with flag pro. Oh, Legman holding the button makes it hard. Exile, this is a key moment for him. <laughs> D Wiz, great D, great uh, great flag carrying skills there. Knows to hit the button and not to go for the flag. Players instinctually, you want to get to the flag as soon as you think you've got an opportunity, but getting the kill there and forcing your opponent to make a mistake shows some very good patience. So right now we're 6-2 in this game. Cap Quisadors still need a four caps to even it up. A good way to start with it, D-Wiz is free middle, but so is Exile. D-Wiz takes away the sniping opportunities of his opponents. He's able to stay free and get plenty of space for himself. Just Nats and Sir Dan and Micro all closing at the same time. Flagman's ready on re-grab. Oh, but D-Wiz showing himself to be quite a capable fl flag carrier. He wants to come in, but Micro's got the re-grab, and Micro's shown great discipline with the flag. Eagles, I really liked that boost there. He only he did the same thing that he could have with three, uh, but he only used one to block him up top there. Might have paid off for him when he had a couple more there for his teammate to come and cap. Legs still alive. Grabs a fortunate rolling uh, rolling bomb. He was making it so easy on him. Sir Dan's there, leg man. How does he deploy it? Oh, Sir Dan. Great positioning to be able to get him in front of the rolling bomb and still be able to get to the flag. As an offensive player, when you've got that rolling bomb, how you apply it is so tough. I mean, right there you would think that you should be able to get a cap because you got two blockers, one rolling bomb, you, you apply it, but he's still just able to rob you. Your leg man is feeling frustrated, but now he's got a rolling bomb again. And he kisses. Micro and D-Wiz both with grabs. 
B-Wiz runs into trouble. Micro goes the other way and stays alive for the minute. Micro coming into base, but he's got the entire other team crashing on him. Got, yeah, he found himself dead in a cluster of activity. Power up in base for D-Wiz, sitting on re-grab with it. Almost a nice shot by Grant. Eagles picks up a tag pro. D-Wiz is free. He wants to go mid. Oh, it just passes it. We use it like a backboard. Damn. Well played by all these teams. You've, you've needed to do something special to get the cap. You've needed your teammates to be there for you. Or then you've needed a good opportunity. Legman is there. This is return for cap territory. Dad chases him out of base. Sir Dan is there for supports. See if they're going to close him down. Second loss while I'm specking. Oh, better here than, um, than in a game, I suppose. Yeah, I think the packet loss issue should be resolved by now. Can you hear me out there? Okay. Two minutes left in the game. Legman's free middle. He's got some nice blocks. And he's able to get the cap. Great blocks by D-Wiz and Grant. They were able to block and hold the button at the same time. Unfortunate bomb there. Sir Dan wants it. Micro, the rolling bomb on D, is able to get a kill out of it. Plenty of spikes to be found in the base. He was just free. Almost great hesitation there, but Sir Dan's able to take advantage. Sometimes in this game, hesitating kind of looks like uh, a juke. And in fact, it, it is kind of both at the same time. So, and that's one reason you want to take both of those boosts coming out of the base, because if they get behind you, their team boost is faster than yours. That was a great shot by Eagles, but Sir Dan's able to duck it and come into base. Four ahead of him. Looks like a nightmare. Just nads ahead of him, playing contain. Groups back to base. Grants. Trying to kill Exile. It's 2v1. Eagles gets it. Grant keeps his rolling bomb. Blows through. Boosts. Oh, Sir Dan, just in time. A great save there at the end. All right. The gap of the first game, though, goes to Exile. I would say ballsy move of the game. Perfectly executed. Boost right past the tag pro to just clip the edge of the flag. Sir Dan with three caps there. D Wiz with two playing offense. Legman ended, ends up with one. All right. Jacoby, you want to see about bringing in. Um, Yeah, let's bring in you fools just for a minute. He's not gonna he's not gonna stick around this whole time, but I do want to hear his thoughts so far. We got Adi too. He's quality. Love to hear his thoughts in the game. 
since we're gonna looks like we're gonna take a little bit of break for halftime. Hey, what's up to the viewers out there? This is Ghost Boosters versus Cap Keys to Doors. Ghost both Ghost Boosters just took the first half. Eight to or just took the first game, eight to four. Right. Adi sit tight, bud. Hey, what's up, fools? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good to hear. What'd you think of that first game, man? I saw you were active in the Twitch chat. <laughs> I think that uh, Ghost Boosters and um, Cap Keysidors are doing a great job trying to fight, fend off each other. Yep, absolutely. Seems some good D by both sides. Uh, Micro and Just Nads holding it down pretty well. D giving on opportunities, but that that second half it looked like just some really fortunate uh, returns that came to the Caps. Don't you love when that happens, you fools? <laughs> yeah. It's hard. I mean, that's and that's what makes Tag Pro such a great game. Is you can play all the strategy you want, but sometimes the enemy flag carrier dies when you're just about to walk into base. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you fools, I want to hear it straight from you, so that this message doesn't get filtered or distorted. You know, the way that the media does. Which team do you think needs to be more strategic in the second half? <laughs> Probably the Cap Keysidors, as they um, didn't seem to pull off the win for this half. Yep. Do you think... How do you think they're going to, you know... What do you think they're going to change on their strategy? Like a new player? Uh, more emphasis on power-ups? Because power-ups were just a, a, a cluster of... <laughs> they, they were going at any time just because you can't sit and wait. It's not like Star where you go sit, wait there, and duel for 10 seconds. They just kind of pop up when you need to. So, um... Yeah. What, um... But what do you think they should emphasize in the second half? Probably most things. Uh, so they don't manage to uh, lose again. Oh, yeah. It was a tightly tightly contested game, 8-4. Um, to much, much bigger margins in games. And the Ghost Boosters, of course, we know to be a quality team. They're, they're playing without their... Uh, one of the stories of the match is that WoW Such is not in the building today. Apparently he had a commitment of some kind, of which uh, we weren't able to see. Um, but it looks like Exile's filling in pretty well for him. He's he's shown his uh, his ability to get caps, to get returns, and to uh, be effective. Yeah, and that's pretty strange for a defensive player, Exile. Oh yeah, yep. Um, but you know, you've been around a while, you figure out what you can do. Yeah. All right, all right, you fools. We're glad to have you here, but I think we're violating about eight different kinds of labor laws. So, um, but we'll we'll keep uh, we'll keep our eye on you in the Twitch chat, man. Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. I'll go back to the waiting room. All right. All caps. <laughs> Oh yeah, you fools. I see that kid all the time. All right. Well, I sure hope they did. If uh, if they didn't, they're gonna have to uh, start the game back again. We got logos and everything in place. Right. Thanks to you guys all out there in the Twitch chat. We see everything you write, so uh, keep it up. All right, and we're off again with some great looking logos for these teams. Right, solid defensive effort so far. Dwiz gets a nice grab. Just Naz is in front of him. Let's see what Dwiz can do about it. Gets gets free top. Almost able to make slow down enough to get that boost. But he does set up liquid. Oh, and he's got a nice. Oh, robbed something. I think Exile pushed against him in a way that got in front of him, but he. That's that. You feel like you get robbed when you don't score those. Dan's got it. Eagles makes a shot at him, but they're able to shut him down. Uh, 
power-ups have respawned. Exile's gonna beat Eagles to the Tag Pro. Hate when that happens. Two Tag Pros in the uh, Cap Quisador's base. Liquid's free with the flag. Uh, Just Nads is able to button snipe him, and in turn, is button sniped himself. He was smartly doesn't try to uh, come through the gates, diverts down downwards. And he's gonna be free top. Just Nads is able to shut him down. Good thing he, brought, he took it out of base though. Micro's got the flag and he knows what to do with it. And as I say that, he gets popped. Exile's got the flag and he knows what to do with it. And he gets popped. d has got the flag and he knows what to do with it. Well, I guess he does know what to do with it then. Okay. A hell of a nice boost down into the zone right there. He's able to go from base to base very, very quickly. Liquid went top. He goes for that boost. Oh, are they going to get the first cap? Micro with a rolling bomb. Oh, and he robs him. We have seen two acts of grand larceny here today so far. But it looks like the Cap Quistadors have the edge so far. They've been playing knockout tag pro, getting everything. Uh, if, I, don't, I don't know if they're getting power ups or whatnot, but they feel like they should be winning this game and they're playing like it. Dan's in base though. This is what can change the pace of a game, but his tag pro runs out. Grant and Eagle sitting on D. Exile holding the button for Sir Dan's boost, but he can't quite uh, hit the flag with it. Think we have power ups coming soon? Micro's waiting in his base for a power up. When's it gonna be there? Is D Wiz gonna beat him to it? Micro's got support in the, support in the base. Fun time continues. Oh, and it's a tag pro. It's worth fighting for. Grant's got a rolling bomb. Eagles has got Sir Dan pinned up top. Micro's playing good D. And we are seeing a major lack of hold time in this game so far. I think we've only got about one minute per each team. Much better defensive effort today. Sir Dan gets a grab and he's by three. He's got nobody in front of him. It's going to take a miracle. Oh, and that's got to be just crushing. Like you've played so well and got so many close opportunities. Well, two in particular. And then the other team just fortunately uh, kind of has the positional advantage. Grant chasing him down there. That wasn't easy to do. If he looked around in the middle, it was because he got the jump on him uh, coming out of the base. The Eagles picks up a tag pro in base, and this defensive uh, fun fest is going to continue. Oh, button by D Wiz. He's only got two ahead of him. Instead of opting for boost, he goes top. See if Eagles can chase him out, but no, Sir Dan's able to kill him. Liquid getting out quickly. He's got three ahead of him. Oh, boost in. Oh, micro. Great timing there. He must have just caught it out of the periphery of his eye and started making the move for it. Instantly. Button really is key, and it's... There's, there's a reason there's always somebody standing on it. Grant and Eagles doing a bang up job, yep. Using that button constantly. Almost able to kill Just Nads there. Oh, uh, Micro closes the door on him. Liquid's free with the juke juice. Got three and about to be four ahead of him. d -Wiz has the re-grab set up. Micro d does grab the rolling bomb at 50. Base power up 50. Liquid gets what he wants. Now he gets the rolling bomb and he's able to go make a move. Makes a nice boost down. He gets past Micro. He's going to blow people out. And cap. Hell of a cap for Liquid. That was textbook offense right there. Grant playing some nice D. D Wiz is free. Got flag pro. It runs out. 2v2 block scheme. Uh, and that third guy finally gets ahead of him. Middle power-ups aren't coming for a while. Right base power-up isn't coming up till 50. He sees a tag pro. Doesn't care about it that much, but Exile does. 
and he's able to get the tag curl and then get back into position really quickly. A lot of times when you're chasing, you gotta stay contained, but once he saw that his opponent was kind of moving left through middle, he knew that he could get that and still, uh, still stay contained. Micro cuts liquids out off, and he's able to make a nice snipe. Grant, killing him with authority right there. This has been a very different defensive half. You wouldn't think that these are the same teams. Look to Twitch and see what we got. Yeah, we've got kind of red and red and orange uniforms. Okay, these are the uh, correct, correct uniforms for the teams. Just uh, Cap Quisadors don't really have a, uh, a good away jersey that matches this color scheme. I, I too wish that they'd be slightly different, but that's that's what you make of it. All right, and it's a 1v1 half right now with three minutes left. Sir Dan is able to get an out right there. Oh, and a horrible boost. And he knows it too, using some uh, unkind words in the chat. He had a real scoring opportunity there, coming into base with just, I think, with a 2v1 scenario. Now Exile, let's see how he can perform. He's got Flag Pro, they force him off the button, almost kill him. D-Way's doing his best to stay alive, and it's a good thing he does, because he, cause he's able to get the return. Hell of a save by D-Way's. Came down to a contest of strength and initiative there. Eagle's not quite able to turn that uh, rolling, uh, that snipe that he needed. Sir Dan walks it in for a reply. Two one with two minutes left. Exiles going bottom. He wants that power up, and he's actually going to get away with it. Oh, but Eagles is going to close him down up top. Oh, he almost gets the juke on the bird man. Liquid. Sir Dan plays great counter snipe right there. That's not easy to do, and then has a harder time uh, using the boost than dodging them. Exile, playing patiently, grabs a rolling bomb, hopes to keep it alive, Sir Dan is there, going after Liquid, makes a nice combo boost in the base. d -Wiz gets a pick up with the Juke Juice, now we might finally see some hold time in this game. Exile, staying alive with his rolling bomb. Now you gotta think right now, oh yeah, his offense, like that thing is gonna run out shortly. And T Good idea of when it was going to. Micro sitting for regrab. Just Nads holding him there. They were waiting for Sir Dan. Did finally show up. Exile. It's a nice juke to go back to base, but walks a little bit too close trying to make the turn. Our friend, Mr. Spike. Micro. Can't quite get by Eagles. Liquid. With not a great opportunity here with Tag Pro and base. Oh, if only the boost would have been there for Liquid, he could have repeated Exile's snipe uh, snipe into the flag with the Tag Pro being there. Dan gets caught. Micro's playing solid D, waiting for one of his offensive players to get there. Oh, but Eagles is able to get the Tag Pro, which is going to be crucial for the last seconds of this game. Micro's going to get a rolling bomb. That would be a nice time for Just Nads to do some work. He kills him, and he caps, making it 3-1. Good patience by Micro right there. Drive another cap in. Just, these games are proven to be very Three, close and two, each cap matters quite one. a bit. But you can't say that the uh, Gap Keystadors made many mistakes there. One time I think all their guys died but we saw some great plays by d -Wiz. Eagles and Grant held it down. Liquid got himself a cap and uh, very crucial with uh, returns. Def, you're definitely watching a major league match here, folks. All right, let's see how fast they want to get back into the game. All right, what's up, 55 viewers? I'm looking at your comments right now, so I want to get some posts out there, maybe some thoughts on the game. You had to be happy to see him. It's 
so far a lot of commentary on um, music on the jerseys. I can't even hear the music. Nicole, what do you got going on? Oh yeah. Yep, sounds like beats to me. Like we're going to have a short break between halves. All right. All right, guys. Who's your uh, early candidates for ball of the game? So in the second half, it, it changes a bit from the first half because now you know what the score is and you know what the difference between a win and not is. And that's kind of where you find yourself in some of the more tense situations where, you know, say you're an offensive player and you got the flag. How aggressively do you come back into base if, if there's two or three ahead of you? Do you go for another lap? Or do you kind of hang on to it to press your advantage? If you ever watch any competitive soccer, it's annoying as hell when your team is down maybe a goal with the with the left. All they do is clear the ball into the opposite team's half. Oh, sad. Stream of source Rex crying his eyes out. Value ball? Absolutely. Most value ball of the game. I like it. Alright, who's got the nominations for most value ball of the game? Exile's been doing a good job filling in. Defense has been holding it down. Micro's been going both ways. Swingman couldn't be here today, unfortunately. We are starting here. I would say 3 2 1, but uh, usually the game says that for you. Three, two, one. And we're off. Hype and Gnome, new into the game. Let's see what he can uh, bring up for the Cap Keys to Doors. Got fundamentals. He's got a power up, sets the bomb off. He's fighting against Sir Dan. Grant and Hype and Gnome.
solid defensive effort so far. Gets a nice grab. He's through middle, and he's way past Grand and Hypernome. It's two in base, and they're doing a great job of holding him off. And D was just there in time. About time he gets there. He was showing some nice micro jukes, and he gets past micro. See those jukes by D Wiz? They're all really kind of small. Like he never really changed his course, but just enough to throw his opponent off. That's uh, that's what you look for in your high caliber offense. Sir Dan boosts down Hypernome. Knows he's gonna be there though. Exile. Just nads with the tag pro on D. Liquids just runs out. Micro's sitting in base waiting for maybe for somebody to set up a regrab. What's he gonna do with it? Wants to go bottom, catches the button. Liquid makes a nice grab though, and he's free. Exile, I think shuts him down there. See what Liquid can do. He's opting to come in middle, Sir Dang and just nads ahead of him. You only need one on regrab there, Cap Keasts. D Wiz has got it. Hypernome. Oh! See, that's how you surprise your opponent, is you come back from the other side, and they'll never expect you to be there. Micro's got it. Grant's able to close him down. Liquid with a boost here. Oh, but he opts not to. He's staying alive, though. Setting up a re-grab for D-Wiz. Oh, Grant could have sniped somebody, but he's going to be spawning with the Tag Pro. This looks very nice for the Cap Keystadors. And it results in a cap. Nicely done. That Juke Juice and Tag Pro. Grant was able to recover after getting buttoned. D-Wiz with a nice Juke. With some nice blocks to follow. Oh, and just Nads. Just there in time. This half has been full of uh, close calls. D-Wiz is able to bounce off the wall and get back quickly. Micro's free and he's got three beat. Liquid needs to stay alive. And he gets caught. I, oh, I thought D was, was going to catch him. All right, he gets a button bomb. Liquid there to shut him off. And we're going to have a reset after a flurry of death. Hypernome sees it, goes right for it. Serdan's in the base. They chase him out. He's probably not going to snipe him, but he wants to keep him as far out of the base as possible. See if D-Wiz and Liquid can uh, get a nice grab. Liquid, using that button, is able to get the get the kill that springs him. Exile's out, though. So is Liquid. And Sir Dan, giving him a hard time in the base. We are in a standoff here. Both players showing their poise. Nice boost by Liquid to get past just Nads, who was trying to prevent exactly that, but there were just too many options for him. Liquid, great way to change direction. Micro would have sniped him if he kept on his current course, but he's not able to get by him. Exile, nice grab and go. D was has time to pick up a Juke Juice. Oh, and he jukes his, and it's a good thing he does because he jukes his way past Sir Dan and just nads. Exile's got it. Both flag carriers showing pretty good poise here. None of them really threatening to attack, but just kind of holding it. And I, I think that's that's maybe what's changed in the second half is that the ghost boosters they they want to maintain control of the flag. It's great D micro with a great uh, boost juke there. Hypernome's able to recover. Oh, this could be nice. Exile's there with the tag pro. Oh, but it runs out. Parker's gonna have a hard time getting past him. Up and him with a grab. Or keeps the rolling bomb intact. Ooh, Grant, way to be there. Micro gets his own return. He's an expert at returns. 
He almost got his, himself a cap out of it, too. So the Ghost Booster is still up by two caps with four minutes and 17 seconds left in the game. Spikes himself. Micro misses the boost into flag. That would have been critical. But he's still staying alive. Just Nads has been waiting for that regrab for a long time. That's what you want to be. You want to be the release valve. Micro misses the boost. Has to run himself outside of base. It's a 1v1. It's looking good. And he does make a, a, the easier attempt right there. Boosting off the back flag. Catching the whole team kind of out of position. Epinome's going after Just Nads. He gets rid of the rolling bomb and he's still got him contained. And he snipe him. Just Nads makes the reversal. Sir Dan is going to be very happy with his regrab situation here. Rolling bomb with a rolling bomb in the on deck. Nads comes through, switches over to mid. Double spikes. All right, I think we've seen one of the first tag pro leads of the game there. Anybody else seen the tag pro regrab? That's the first one in my recent memory. Nads in base. He's got to get by Liquid and Hyponome. Exiles there. Yeah, I think this is where this is what a second half looks like. Very conservative, running it back out of base. Maybe uh, creates opportunities for him. Grant sets off the uh, button to bomb him out. Now, Sir Dan, if I'm guessing right, he's going to play conservative until he knows a regrab is up. But he he opts to go aggressive. He gets killed. Exile still able to get a regrab though. Cap Keystores have got to end his regrab train, and Grant does a great job of it spotting next to his team tile, killing him. That gives them the hope they need. Now they need the offense to make some moves, but what a great grab by Sir Dan there. And of course he gets countered by Grant. Good plays all around. Send him down. Oh, Micro with nowhere to go. Kill that Sir Dan man. And they get themselves a cap. Two down with two minutes left. A bit of momentum. He was with the pickup. Can he get away top? Yes. He's got three blockers and only one ahead of him. Oh, they kill him mercilessly. And now they're down by one with a minute 45. What is happening here? Grant and Hyponome keeping the D. Your Dan's got it. Oh, but they don't spread out right. Exile gets in his way. Inadvertently, I hope. And this is where the tempers flare. This is where it gets serious when you're only down by one. You fight for the power-ups and you do what you can. Exile and Sir Dan probably going to try hard to stay alive here. And they're going to have an easy time now that Exile's got that juke juice. Or not, sorry, a, a tag pro. He grabs and goes Flag Pro. D-Wiz has got a Flag Pro himself and gets away. Sniped and, oh, I think that's the nail on the coffin. Good grab and carry by Exile. And a great snipe to get the return when it was absolutely crucial. We still got a tied half at 3-3. Cap keys to doors with plenty of opportunities. A lot of close calls in this game that, uh, you know, a few pixels in either direction would have been way different. Exile crossing him over closely. I always think he's about to get, uh, get returned, but great block by Micro. Unfortunate, yeah. The final nail in the coffin. But they're never going to give up. He always wants himself a cap. Trying to juke a juke juice, and he pulls it off successfully. Just nads, gets a little aggressive there. Oh, and he unfortunately hits the boost a little wrong. And that is just about a game, folks. Three, two, one. Hell of a close one, but the Ghost Boosters end up uh, winning every half. Micro showing his experience there with 11 returns and two caps. Dust Nads, 10 returns. Exile, two caps. Liquid, a couple caps for himself. And DUA is one for him, too. A lot of hold time. We definitely saw conservative strats. Far less than the aggressive strats.
very close game it was. Really well played. That's uh, that's what you look for when you look at a couple of these top teams play each other. Some nice grabs, nice boosts, snipes, returns. Really kind of saw the whole package there. Everything except the tag pro lead. All right, throw ball here with you. Thank you, thank you guys all for being here. Let's see if we uh, might get a uh, player to interview. Let's see. You could hear from somebody from the Ghost Boosters, maybe uh, just Nads. Take you might have. Uh, they were on the, the other, other channel. Other channel. Right. Are they popping champagne over there, or what's going on, Koba? Okay. Yeah, they. I think they executed their plan, and they uh, they showed that. Even uh, even their uh, leading scorer down, they can still uh, they can still win games. They can still sweep. We've got a nomination for exile for the most value ball, not ball of the game. Yeah, always happy to do it, Liquid Eagle. Did you say they're pretty t chill down there, or any one of them want to uh, come up and say hi? All right. Oh, you got some uh, graphics there that you might want to work around. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Just Naz? I'm very good. How are you, Chobal? And Tag and Nicoba? Grace. Uh, Tagged is at a family obligation, like so many of our fellow balls today. Is he just idling in the streaming channel? Yes, he is. Oh boy. Yep, yep. So, uh, so what'd you make of that game? It was a fun one, huh? Oh, it was so much fun. Um, I was telling my team beforehand, like we know we're familiar with so many of the guys on the other team. It felt like more of a pickup game. It was, it was casual. It was just one of the more fun games we've had this season. Oh yeah, it was definitely fun to watch. There was great move after great move. I mean, you'd make a great grab, only to be like somebody trying to make a, uh, a great snipe on you that you'd have to dodge to put yourself in a bad position. It was, it was a very chess-like game. Yeah, um, obviously Danger Zone is new to a major league rotation, and so I think we were figuring out certain things like as we were playing the game. Uh, there's boosts all over the map. You saw there were like myriad cap size opportunities and. It was just at, certain, at a certain point. It was sloppy. It was a clusterfuck, and I don't know. It's uh, it's a fun map to play, but uh, definitely needs more analysis, more go rounds in Major League before uh, we really get the hang of it. I think. Yeah, yeah. There were uh, there were mistakes. There were people running into spikes, boosting into spikes, missed bomb oh, yeah. opportunities. That button in base makes for all sorts of uh, <laughs> all sorts of destruction. Hey, how's Absolutely. it going, Liquid? <sighs> Not so bad. Are you guys in the post game streaming right now? Yep, just uh, going through, figuring, uh, getting some thoughts on the game. What, what was your take on it today? Uh, I found like uh, the, the Ghost Boosters were a much more disciplined team, and also the individual skill really shown through all those snipes that they had. Like, their snipe returns were off the charts. Like, we always thought we were out of range, and then all of a sudden, all out of nowhere comes just Nads or Micro or even Exile, you know, just popping us, and we were getting so pissed in our channel, like, how do they do this? Yeah. But, oh uh, God. Is, yeah. That's that's it's frustrating when you think you're clear and then you just get popped out of nowhere. Yeah. But overall, in game one, I found that they definitely were more disciplined with power ups, especially in the second half of game one, where they started off with something like picking up five out of the six power ups to start the game, which was just insane. And uh, but apart from that, I felt like we were pretty evenly matched. And that shows in the scores, where you know most cat or there were two games that were four three, and the other two were I think two or three cap games. So it wasn't like it was a huge blowout. So we're pretty proud of 
uh, our performance against the best team in the league. Yeah, um, to the Kapki Sutter's credit, uh, we wouldn't have to do all those snipes if they weren't so consistently getting out of base. Uh, both Lakewood and D-Wiz had some, uh, some pretty amazing grabs. Those ones where you just push against the defenseman, and obviously, usually it's an automatic return, but no, somehow they managed to pixel away, and it's, uh, it's kind of, it starts getting frustrating at a certain point, but you guys had a handle on that all game, and... Uh, yeah, good job. Yeah, game two, half one, we were getting a bit disgruntled. Um, where at the start, I think we had two um, almost caps where I came from, you know, a pixel away from the flag. And that didn't end up happening. You guys were just in there for the clutch last second return. Yeah, we were just yeah, talking about it before you entered the, the channel about so. all the uh, all the cap sizes in this game. It was crazy. Yeah, there <laughs> on was both sides. Many pixel moments if you were if you were sitting in the bird's eye view. Yeah. Some, some of those are like, oh my god, this is this going to be a cap, going to be a cap, and then it's just an explosion of death right there, just a pixel or two away. You could say that the cap Kisador ship capsized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well said. You ran into supernatural forces today. Yeah, and um, we actually, speaking of supernatural forces, we got unlucky in that the swingman just last minute realized he couldn't make it, and we had another scare with D-Wiz and nearly not being able to make the game. Stuart, who was supposed to start, was also no show so mother's day hurting our team and apparently yours too wow such didn't seem to be able to make it either. yeah we got lucky uh exile was taking part in the state cup it's a big soccer tournament uh yeah. luckily there's a there's a thunder warning sorry a tornado warning <laughs> i don't know if that's lucky or not but <laughs> you had to stay home your team is saved by a tornado <laughs> exile here breaking news for you guys all out there exile is officially most value ball of the games do we have that, uh, that second half cap on, on replay or something? Oh yeah, that'll be out there. I think it'll be gifed in a few different forms, but um, I can't remember who was in front of him, but he had a tag pro sitting in front of him outside of base. or it, The tag pro was in base, and he just boosted and just caught that flag by a pixel. It a pixel so the ballsy. other way, he would have been dead. Yeah, that was... Sometimes that's what you need on offense, just the freeness to try to get creative and he definitely had it there. He has the skill to pull it off. That's the main thing right there. Yep. Some yep. players might try and fail, but he succeeded. Yep. There's, a, there's case, a nat natural inclination to say, like, oh, he's got a great defense behind him. Just nads and uh, micro. We're, hold we're holding it down pretty steady, making it tough for the uh, capsized Kistadors. But um, <laughs> Exile yeah, but comes in and shows his individual skill as well as his ability to play on a team. And he's going to make the micro have to think twice about who he's going to start on offense in the weeks to come because he really put in a solid performance there. Absolutely. And uh, you guys showed your deep bench too. Uh, you got you know, <laughs> yeah. Hype on home coming in. Yeah, was it seven different players that you guys played today? Uh, I think that was six. Six. The four starters plus me and Hypenome who came in in the second game. Right. But uh, it's, it's all part of our game plan. Swingman drafted his players so that he could have a very active roster, and that could go one of two ways. You know, you could have an unskilled active roster that doesn't improve. But I think he got lucky in that he picked the right players who ended up improving a whole lot, like Eagles, who've been a stalwart on defense, and you know, Hypenome, who was picked up in one of the you know fifth or sixth rounds. Legman, who was a sixth round pick. All I think it's really, really working for you guys so. um, because. Uh, I know the way I play. Um, you guys start on offense, I'll adjust the way you're playing in the first two halves until so I get a little pattern going, get a little idea of what you're going to do in my head, and then you come and switch, put in liquid instead of leg man, and uh, I got to readapt all over again. All over again. So uh, <laughs> it's definitely uh, tough to deal with. Hey, welcome yeah. to the channel, Exile. What's going on, guys? Hey, happy to let you know, in case you haven't heard already, you were voted. Um, well, the game. I oh. did hear through the grapevine, leg like man was first to tell me. Most value ball. Oh, most valuable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's nice. Oh, what were you thinking there? Uh, well, walk me through your thought process. You're sitting outside of base. You want to boost in for the uh, for the oh, return. Yeah. And there's a tag pro ahead of you. Most people look at this and say, "Okay, better take a lap and see what here. I can yep. do." Yeah. Nah, I definitely thought I could sneak by there, but I I didn't think. I knew he'd get off the fl uh, the button because he was going to the flag, but I didn't think I'd actually hit the flag. I thought I'd just boost around and then take another lap or something, but I somehow got it. Yeah. It was crazy. I, I, I have to rewatch it. I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I must have missed Grant by less than a pixel. Oh, yeah. It was it was pixels. <laughs> it was pixel start, pixel finish, and mm -hmm. we were all kind of in shock afterwards. <laughs> but I gotta rewatch it. 
Oh yeah, that was a yeah, fun we're, one. We're definitely going a little crazy in our team <laughs> channel. <laughs> oh my god, really, really. Good. Right. Well, uh, great games, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, really fun to watch. Uh, really well executed by both teams, and uh, that, that's what Tag Pro is all about, right there. <laughs> good job, Liquid. Good job, Cap Keysadors. Thanks Looking guys, forward sure. to uh, hopefully playing you guys again. Yeah, very really good. Really Showdown has to have a second episode. <laughs> <laughs> They will. This ship will be righted, and uh, we'll see another battle. All right. Thanks for streaming, guys. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. I'll see you later. All right. Uh, for all you viewers at home, we've. This is the first of a great night of Tag Pro for you. We've got Tag Pro TV with a 6:15 game. Swing Network will be broadcasting at seven, so you have all sorts of quality uh, to go on. And this is just a, a start to a great night of uh, Major League Tag Pro Five.